What's up, everyone? It's me, George Schmo. I'm back, and I'm late, as always, but I felt like it was about the right time to actually bring up the mod review that is for Chainsaw Man, considering that MAPPA is basically coming out with, you know, an anime for it, and it's coming out very, very soon, so I thought, why don't we jump into this? For those of you who haven't heard of Chainsaw Man and lived under rock, let me just read the back to you like I always do. Denji's a poor young man who will do anything for money, even hunting down devils with his pet devil dog, Puchia. Oh, Puchita. Oh, there. You know, you know how I roll. He's a simple man with simple dreams, drowning under a mountain of debt, but his sad life gets turned upside down as he's betrayed by someone he trusts. Now, with the power of a devil inside of him, Denji becomes a whole new man. The Chainsaw Man. Yes, that is a little bit, you know, corny, but it's very true. Basically... Well, we here's the time. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do a brief overview of the first volume. Uh, then we'll go into detail. And then we'll talk about the art, just like we always do. So we're going to go into it. It follows our homeboy, Denji. Uh, he is a simple man. And his father basically left him behind. Then he had to mountain down with the Yakuza. And, well, he basically lives off of, like, rice powder and some other stuff. Doesn't even eat. Barely eats. But he comes across this nice little, poop, like, devil dog. Which you got. Put you down. Uh, Pooch. I'm going to just call him Poochie. Pooch. Even though it's Poochida, or, you know, Poochia, or whatever it's called. I'm fucking struggling. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. But, it follows this kid. Follows him. Shows him at the very beginning struggling. Hasn't eaten anything for days. Shows him that he doesn't have a concept because he wasn't educated. He's not a very educated kid because from a young age he's been working for the Yakuza, tr trying to get this money back to pay this debt off. And, well, he gets this false sense of security via the Yakuza, which they end up trying to kill him to sacrifice it to a, another demon. And, well, it doesn't work out for him because even though Denji dies, he ends up becoming one with his dog Pooch and becomes the Chainsaw Man. He becomes this human devil and ends up being such a badass and the one thing i really love is that this does not hold back one bit from the early on scenes you could tell that it doesn't hold back and i love it it's very dark it's the new age berserk as i'm looking at it and a lot of people i'm pretty sure have made comparisons to i haven't watched the videos i'm just doing this at, like i said at 1 30 in the morning so what what happened with him he well basically he died and he promised pooch and took care of poochie uh for a, such a long time that Poochie gave it its life to Denji so that he can go on, which gives him this ability to transform and, well, adds chainsaws over him, coming out of his arms, coming out of his head, coming out of his legs, anywhere he needs it to, to fight the devils and, you know, take them all on. Well, then, after killing this whole thing and that, you know, getting deal with the Yakuza, he basically gets picked up and joins the public safety sector of the government that fights devils and try to, you know deals with the threat that's going around the world and it follows his journeys along that meeting a cast of characters that are, all of them are very memorable and all of them you will get easily attached to because they are very quirky they stand out having their own different like attacks or you know what you know contracts they have and so on and so forth so if you want to keep it at that and don't spoil it i'm pretty sure i have probably had like you know the trailer or something playing over i don't know but we're going to go into a deep like dive of chainsaw man real quick Here's the time code here. Uh, if you just want to leave it at that, we'll jump to the art and then we'll call it quits. But here we go. So like I said, follows our young boy Denji. He's trapped in poverty. He's working off this death with the Yakuza. And by being a devil hunter, then he's aided by his dog, which I call Pooch. Uh, his canine devil chainsaw friend, whatever you want to look at it. Well, he ends up getting portrayed by the Yakuza because they're trying to kill him for a contract with the zombie devil which makes you know you know how zombie goes if they get bit they turn into a zombie that kind of thing that's how that devil works uh but they need to sacrifice so then poochie ended up making a contract with denji on his deathbed and merged into like this human devil hybrid um which you know it was under the condition that denji shows you know his dreams to poochie and he always does he always has and always will and for continue will keep showing these dreams very easy contract, and that's because Pooch loves him for taking care of him, not abandoning him, and not killing him when they first met, which was supposed to happen, but Denji fell in love with him, and then it went from there. So, Denji ends up massacring, and I mean massacring the Yakuza that were trying to sacrifice him to 
well, the devil god, or the, the zombie devil thingy. And, well, that's when he was approached by, you know, the team leader of the go uh, the governmental sector, the devil hunters, like I mentioned before. It's the sect of the public safety that deals with the devils and deals with them on a daily basis, deals with them when they come to the public, start attacking people, so on and so forth. And that was led by this very attractive name, uh, woman named Makima, uh, which she's very hot and she takes very uh, demanding poses and uh, is very demanding and I love her. And she is uh, mommy, uh, m mommy, uh, mommy uh, material. So anyway, moving on, she ends up persuading Denji via um, basically giving his desires of, you want woman? Sure. You want food? Sure. You want money? Sure. We can supply that. Just come work for us. Well, he ends up agreeing. And then he gets, ended up partnering with a couple other people, which you meet in the first volume. Power is one of them. She's a blood fiend. Um, and then you have a, uh, Aki, who's um, a self-destructive uh, devil hunter, which you'll find later on why, what happens, and so forth. And like I said, so Bakima promises Denji any favor as long as he will kill the gun devil, the, per the one of the, who caused the greatest massacre of human history it is killed more than 9-11 and a bunch of other things in one shot within five seconds it was the worst thing ever and they refer to this a bunch of times to massacres and so on and so forth because it is the gun devil and that will be the overarching villain essentially for at least i have read up to chapter six or volume six so that's going at least through all there there's a lot of things that happen that i don't want to talk about here because it is a very uh, bad, well, I won't say bad, very spoiler territory, but I will say it has been such a bloody and good, like, it's so good. And the thing is, it takes place in, like, 1997. Um, it's like an alternate timeline. Soviet Union still exists. Holocaust never happened. Um, and some other stuff from what I've been able to put together. It's just, it's very good. And I referred to Berserk earlier on because the art style is very grungy and grainy, but it's so well put together, so bloody, so detailed at the same time. It's just a perfect blend, but we're, we'll talk about that in a second. So overall, like I said, you follow Denji and you follow these four people, essentially Blood, Aki, and Makima. You follow all these and it goes through this whole story about them going through. You learn more about them as it goes on, killing different devils and learn more about Denji and you know how uneducated he is it's very good it's honestly a very good solid story and you can ask any of my friends um which when you if you ever pop over on twitch you know which tv talk about my gaming i talk about this because i picked it up and i just couldn't stop i literally bought volume one i went out and bought volumes two through six because that's all i could find around here because it keeps getting bought up so in case you have not gotten on this hop on it before the manga comes out but now we're going to go over to the art the art stands out so much like i've said before is basically i look at it as the new age berserk that's coming out with how good and like grungy and bloody it is how detailed it is and like dark it can get with certain moments especially in the later volumes um it's it's not afraid to kill someone make you feel for them and go through other things such as this this is like the first couple of pages but such as that just straight up killing someone seeing to cut up body parts all the guts everywhere heart pieces all, it's just it's everywhere and it doesn't shy away from it. there have been talks about other things in here which i'm not going to say on there but i think you might be able to pick up what i'm saying there have been other talks uh along those notes about what other instances could be drawn up if they wanted to not like the horse that they refer to and showed in berserk not along with that lines but coming to the blood murder guts gore everything that this has to offer it keeps it doesn't overbear it it does it very peacefully very beautifully and it has a very nice blend in it so you're not getting overwhelmed but you're able to take it in and enjoy what's going on and enjoy the fights that going on enjoy the suffering that happens that it's that sounds but as a reader you get to enjoy you get to cry you get to feel the pain it does everything very beautifully with this artwork and it doesn't leave a bad taste here so overall this is going to be a very hot ticket item for a very long time and right now it has about 15 million copies in print um those are getting bought up pretty fast and when the manga hit like well, not the manga when the anime gets 
going next month at the time of this recording. I'm recording August 22nd. I think it's coming out October-ish or September, October-ish. I'm not sure exactly when, but when it does, it's going to hit the ground running. It's going to blow everyone's expectations. It's going to be the hot new thing. It's going to people are going to forget about Jujutsu Kaisen and the focus on this right here. So grab yourself a copy while you can, or it's going to be hard to find like Jujutsu Kaisen was for the longest time because of how good it was. People kept buying up the manga and wanted to stay informed, get ahead of it, all the whole nine yards. This finished part one with the manga. They're working on part two now, act two. I forget how they described it. It's a whole other thing for another day, but get your get a chance. Go ahead and buy it. So let me know what you guys know, think about in the comments down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.